Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Whimsy Creek Art. Okay, today we're going to do kind of an experiment. I did a reverse dip. I did three reverse dips, three different ways. And so I did one with plastic wrap. I did one with a dry paper towel, and I did one with a wet paper towel. And these are all done on 10 by 10 inch canvases. And right now I'm just putting a base of white down. I mix my white paint that I use or any color that I use as the base. I mix it just the same as I mix any of my paint. I mix it with one part paint to two to three parts Floetrol. And that's how I mix the base paint, what some people call the pillow paint. Uh, I mix the base paint, any paint I'm going to do a flip cup, dirty cup, I just mix it all the same. And I have lots of videos on mixing my paint. I have one listed in, in the links in the description. All right, now I'm just going to put down um, a little bit of, this is some plum colors, kind of violet colors. And I'm just going kind of abstract, just a real quick flower. Just using three shades of kind of plum violet colors, going around in swirls, just real quick, just do an experiment real quick. And my first color I use in all three of these does have silicone. And these colors are all mixed up. It's not really a brand, I can tell you. Uh, there's some Craft Smart paint, some Folk Art paint, all kind of mixed up to make some color variations of my own. And then I'm putting a little bit of a light orange or a dark yellow color here in the center. And so this first one, I'm going to use plastic wrap. I cut a piece of plastic wrap, just a little bit larger than the size of the canvas. This is a 10 by 10 inch canvas. Now I'm just trying to lay the plastic wrap across the canvas really trying to not have too many air bubbles down below because you can't position it. You can't move it around too much. I am able to position it slightly and get a few air bubbles out, but you try not to get too many in. And then what you want to do is you want to grab each of the corners and bring it into the center. All four corners, you bring that into the center. Then you gently lift up and you need to have a landing space to throw that surround wrap in. And then you here is the final product. Here is a close up. Uh, I just had the one color had silicone. So wow, quite a bit of cells popped up there. And I haven't even torched it. That, those cells popped up all on their own. Kind of the friction of move, pulling up the surround wrap creates the cells. And just, I have treadmill oil, about two to three drops of treadmill oil in the first color I used. And that's it. All right, next we are gonna use a dry paper towel. And so I've already went ahead and put the white down, just the same as the other one, the white down on the canvas. We're gonna use these same colors and we're going to go ahead and just put in down in the same design the abstract kind of flower just a quick flower um and so this first color is the only one with silicone you can kind of see the cells already trying to pop up having a little bit of an issue with that first bottle clogging up but that's okay and so you can kind of see Mike's hand reach in there and grab that bottle. He's going to help me out with that. And so I'm just putting the swirl design and the colors down. And honestly, I do have quite a bit of paint down here. If it wasn't, these are just experiment canvases to see what, if a plastic, if I like plastic wrap, a dry paper towel, or a wet paper towel for the reverse dips. If I was going to, I probably wouldn't put too much uh, paint down. This is probably a little extra paint than what you need. So here's my dry paper towel. I'm going to try not to get any air bubbles, but you can put it right down. And the good thing is you can see if there's any air bubbles there. All right. And do it just the same as you do with the plastic wrap. You're going to grab each of the corners, 
bring all four corners up, grab it in the center, and just try to lift it up straight up, and then have a landing spot. All right, the dry paper towel does give it a little bit of a more subtler look. It does have a different look to it, but honestly, I kind of like both. Uh, this one, I think, was probably the dry paper towel did probably dry the best, look the best in the final dried product. But I think both have really good characteristics to it. This one um, brought the white up above the colors a little bit more, I would say. So it's a little bit more subtle, lighter colors to it. All right, so here's our close-up shot. And then next, we're going to do a wet paper towel. So I just took a paper towel and just got it kind of damp. It's not soaking, dripping wet, but it is, you know, pretty damp paper towel. And again, we're just using those same colors, same base of white down. And then we're going to put a wet paper towel for this one. So we've done the plastic wrap, a dry paper towel, and then last but not least, we will do a wet paper towel. And I have heard of people doing these reverse dips with other um, stuff as well. Comment down below and let me know, do you do, what is your favorite to do a reverse dip? Do you do it with any of these three that I've done in this video? Do you do your reverse dip with something else, some other type? I have seen a couple of people do them with bubble wrap. Uh, maybe I'll have to experiment and see how one comes out with bubble wrap. Let me know if you have heard of anything else, maybe. So, all right, now just getting a little bit of that real uh, darker yellow color that gives it a little bit of a center. And these are real just abstract. All right, so here we go. We got our wet paper towel, just kind of damp paper towel. And we're gonna lay that across there real carefully and then make sure we have all the air bubbles out and do it just the same as we did the other two, grabbing each of the four corners lifting straight up with each of the four corners and then setting that aside. All right, you can really see the cells popping up in this one, tons of cells. And so really um, not a huge difference with each of the three, but I do like each of the three's results. So I would say the verdict is then you can pretty much use whichever you have available or whichever you chose you like. You can use saran wrap, dry paper towel, or wet paper towel. They all work pretty well for this technique. And so, all right, thank you so much for watching and I hope you are doing well. Have a good one.